Almost lost it there. How's it going, everybody? I'm Josh KI6NAZ. When you walk around with a chest rig or a backpack and you've got a radio on it, sometimes you have an antenna like the signal stick kind of bouncing around, which can be fine in a lot of instances, but sometimes it hits you or sometimes it's on your shoulder and it's bumping up against your head. And it's not really something that's ideal for what you want. So I've got two antennas today. The first is the CA tail antenna. Links for all these will be in the description. This is a wearable antenna that you actually weave through strapping and whatnot. A lot of guys use this for load bearing harnesses. You see it a lot actually in military use and you can see that on the website, which again is in the description. I've also got this other one and it's a big shout out to ZBM2 Industries. It kind of resembles a signal stick, but it's very, very flexy. So we're gonna test this as well after weaving it up through my strap here. So let's go ahead and rig up using my ICOM ID52. So signal stick comes off. You know I have my BNC adapter. You can get these at signalstuffsignalstick.com and they have the rubber grommet. I got asked, uh, it, do I mind the gap that the adapter has on the ID52? And if you can see that, hopefully you can see it. The answer is no, not really. It doesn't bother me and it, it doesn't seem to have a problem. So yeah, anyway. One clip, whole thing comes off. So I think the way to do this is just come up through the elastic. There's likely a much better way of doing that, but I don't know what it is. All right, plugs in real simply like that. Now, it's not gonna be convenient to be doing this and then trying to get it back in and out of my bag and whatnot. So I did bring one of my favorite ICOM accessories, which is the ICOM VS3 Bluetooth dongle. So this is a mic and also a uh, rudimentary control. You can go up and down frequencies, volume, you can change memory channels. I already have this synced up, so let's turn it on and we'll run it into earbuds. Let's check our operating frequency. We're gonna be on a testing frequency I use for two meters and another one for 70 centimeters. Okay, full power. I'm just gonna sit like this. I'm not gonna do anything special. The antenna's on me, so let's just do it, all right? Now, if you've never watched one of these videos before, I have an SDR at home that is set up to listen to both two meters and 70 centimeters, and I can do an audio test as well as a signal to noise ratio test for determining how good our audio quality is both on the receive side, but how loud we are in terms of power received at my station, which is about a mile from here as the crow flies. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu antenna test with the cattail antenna at 6.37 p.m. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu transmitting a test with the cattail antenna on 70 centimeter calling frequency at 6.38 p.m. All right, that's the cattail. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu is the radio test, radio test with the ZBM2 Industries vertical antenna. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu with the ZBM2 70 centimeter vertical radio test at 6.21 p.m. All right, I wonder how we did. All right, let's rack and stack these numbers, shall we? So the cattail antenna didn't get an audio recording, and this is something I should explain in the testing process, but I did get an SNR reading. So the audio recordings, because I'm away from home while doing these, I try not to blow up my hard drive with these recordings, so I have the squelch turned on, and the cattail was just below my squelch setting. You can see the SNR values here were pretty low, but it likely would have made it, it would have just been pretty scratchy. The ZBM2 worked on both two meters and actually made it back on 70 centimeters as well. It just so happens that I had uh, D-Star uh, mode selected, so there's a noise like this when I was recording. The ZBM2 is a bit more traditional, like you'd expect with a signal stick, and the cattail is very focused on being a routable antenna for what I'm assuming, again, is likely comms. I take a bit at the end of the video here to explain the numbers. Wearable antennas are for a specific crowd of people, so keep that in mind. The numbers here are probably not bad because long distance is likely not their intended purpose, specifically for the cattail. Now I will note something I did a little bit differently is I took different audio tests throughout the time I was there. I actually transmitted multiple times with both antennas within about a 
15 minute span. And uh, that shows here with the ZBM2 actually having two reports on 70 centimeters, which uh, I, I think is good for the numbers, and I may roll that into future testing. It means I end up shooting more video, but I think that's all good in the long run. Now, there's something to be said here uh, with regards to my opinion. My opinion on these antennas is probably not that important, truth be told. There are a number of guys who are actually in the military that are in situations where they need this type of antenna, particularly the cattail type antenna, a routable antenna that's not gonna get in the way, that can weave through webbing, that can be very low profile. And in fact, that's kind of what they want their performance to be in some cases too. They're not looking for the most effective transmitter. Not Again, I don't know the results yet here, but a lot of times you may not be running all that much power if you just wanna to talk to your guys that are in line of sight with you, like that you can see visibly, that you may only be a block away from, maybe even less than that, maybe even in the same building, you just need to stay in communication. So something like this is actually really useful for being able to still have it on your person, make your radio happy, it still works as a good antenna, but also something that you know you could use, I guess, hypothetically, uh, if you were to get up to a certain location and maybe string it up <laughs> like this or hold it up vertically. So I'm kind of curious what the numbers were. I think the cattail is a really cool idea though, being able to route it all around like that. And I think I actually, I think my, uh, my mag carrier would fit, would work with that just fine. So I may actually go deploy that on my, uh, my mag carrier for my rifle and my handgun. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's where I'll leave it. You tell me what your thoughts are on wearable antennas. Slightly different than the signal stuff signal stick, right? Because these are a little bit more uh, pliable, a little bit more floppy, a little bit more bendable. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm Josh KI6NAZ73.